Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking impossible shape inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And it's called impossible because if you take a closer look, if you like look from the left side, those are like the top parts of the design, while the red ones are the, like the sides, the extrude parts. If you take a look from the right side, this is the top part. And actually this is the extruded part, so you can see it's not kind of matching in the middle, so it's switching in the middle, and that's why you cannot construct such shape in the real 3D world, like a 3D mesh. Okay, so I will delete all those drawings, and we have to just keep in mind, just because it's switching the sides with the top part, that those uh, two elements, that the side and the top part should be the same size, just so it's matching. Just keep that in mind. We will jump to the blank slide and start drawing something. So I will select Insert Shapes being the rectangle and I will draw it like this. Now, we have to keep in mind to set the same size of this height of this rectangle as the as the width or as the 3D extrusion. In, uh, for this, we need to know the size. So I will right click and select uh, size and position, and I will re either you know, write down the height, or I will just change this to two centimeters. That way it will be very easy for me to remember this value. So I'll copy paste this shape or I can also select this shape and drag it with the control and the shift key being pressed at the same time, which will duplicate the shape and just keep it aligned to the left side. I think around here is fine, then I will copy paste this again, rotate it by 90 degrees by pressing the, or, uh, the shift key as well, move it to the left side and align with both of them, make it a little bit smaller to get this U shape. Then I will select all three shapes, set the outline to no outline and merge those together, so select Merge Shapes Union. So I have this U-like shape, I will open this effect for the format shape, and in the free rotation I will select some of those presets, that's probably outside of this video, so I will open it here. So free rotation and I will select this isometric view preset. Now, for the 3D format, I want to increase the depth to have the same size as the 2 cm height. But this is not in centimeters, it's inside in points. So I have to quickly jump to Google and type in just 2 centimeters to points or 2 inches to points, whatever units you are using. And I will just use this number for the extrusion. So I will use this number for the extrusion and now it should be fine. I will most likely change the fill to some different color, maybe this default gray one. And I may change the free lighting as well to have a more of the contrast, so I don't know. I will keep increasing it to some, I don't know, maybe this is fine, Three, 130 or 140, seems fine. Okay, so the light is coming from the top and it's a little bit more highlighted uh, on, on the top side and uh, darker on the edges. So that's fine, that's the one part. What I need to do is I need to somehow blend this into another shape and I will do this blending by changing the fill to the gradient fill. So I will change the solid fill to gradient fill and I will use maybe like three different stops. I will start with our default gray color. I may change actually the second one to a different gray color to give it a little bit of variation. What's important is for the last step to set any color, probably the same gray one, but increase the transparency to 100%. And as you can see, it's kind of fading, but it's fading on the wrong side. So what happens when I change the angle to zero? Zero is not the right one, so maybe 180. Okay, so 180 seems fine. As you can see, it's kind of fading on the right side and that's when the second shape will be placed. So I will copy paste this shape one more time. And what I will do is I will just rotate this, rotate this by 190 degrees by holding the shift key. So I will rotate it like this. And watch what happens when I, you know, rotate it. It's also flipped. So if I precisely move it over the first shape, we immediately get this uh, impossible shape being done in a PowerPoint. I've done a few more things, so if you still have time, maybe we can add a little bit of uh, bevel, for example, so I can change the top bevel. The problem with the bevel is kind of it kind of ruins the layout. So you can either choose if the bevel will be aligned or if the shapes will be aligned, but in this case, the bevel would not be aligned. I will probably you know, stick with the bevel be aligned, but I will make it much smaller so it's not that distracting. So I'll maybe go from six points to maybe just like two points or either even less. When I zoom out, you may not notice that there is something wrong with those shapes. I've also added a little bit of a drop shadow. So I will select both shapes. 
and again in the effects uh, tab I will open the shadow properties and I will uh, uh, select any of those presets I will increase the distance as much as I can and as you can see just because those uh, uh, shapes are rotated it's not quite matching so I will start with the first one and I will play with the settings I will set the angle to some value to be below like this and I will try to match the other one so I will play with the angle value and then with the distance to match the first shadow and as you can see there is a restriction we can only raise it to 200 points so I can I have to probably decrease the distance from the first shape so like this then I can probably increase the blurriness I don't know like 60 or so and maybe even increase the transparency just so it's very light so 80 and 60 and we have a nice looking impossible 3d shape done in powerpoint in almost no time and that's it thanks for watching